At just a hair over 22 feet long, roughly 4,500 pounds dry, 4,600 pounds dry, you are looking at the upgraded camping experience for the adventurous couple, the beautiful Heartland Mallard 210 RB. Hey, what? Hey. Oh, hey, Bobby. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young lounging on the king size bed here of the Heartland Mallard 210RB. Let me tell you about this one. As Bobby said, this is that kind of soft, firm mattress. Would you say Bobby is my jam? That's my jam. <laughs> This is my jam. First off, you get a king size bed in the 2021 Heartland Mallards. A very nice feature that kind of follows suit with a lot of the things they've done for 2021, including the King Kong size storage, both in and out. But this king size bed is a true king size bed. So if you want to lay north to south or east to west, you got the space to do it. And this, this upgraded mattress is outstanding. I really don't want to get up, but I have to. But since we are here in this 22 foot long 4600 pound dry weight beautiful fiberglass rv let's go ahead and start with the master bedroom up here i got led reading lights on both sides i got cubby storage on both sides as well also have the ward storage and they've upgraded a lot of things for 2021 including the interiors of the designs like if you'll see this is actually a textured glass leading into your storage up top good space i got me some storage here as well, good spot for my cell phones. And you'll notice we got USB plug over here that has its own cover. Plenty of space right there. And I got a USB charger port over here on the campsite as well. Underneath my king size bed, you'll see I got some storage right there. Good spot for shoes, bags, clothes, shirts, whatever. 110 power ports on both sides. And I speaking of shoes, I got me a little, what is that Bobby, mud room? Storage right there. Yeah, that looks good to me. A little mudroom spot right there. So if you want to throw your dirty shoes in, bam, you can. Now with this being the 210 RB, um, I had mentioned it sleeps five to six, uh, four to six, we'll say. This one is for that active couple that wants to bring the, the, maybe the small kids along uh, or the active couple that has pets or just the active couple. And I keep saying couple the active campers that want a little bit of space inside of a small RV with a lot of upgraded features. The Mallard has really gotten a good reputation for giving you great pricing, tremendous amenities, uh, and style and comfort. They continue with 2021, but, the, but there's a big but. This 210 RB, you do not have much privacy. As you can see, everything is right here. It's almost like an efficiency apartment. So if you're setting up a hunting cabin, fishing cabin, something like that, great spot for it. You got a place to knock out, you got a place to relax, but your privacy is pretty much left to the curtains. And as you can see, if we were playing hide and seek, you'd see my hooks. You wouldn't see me, but you'd see my hooks sticking out the bottom. That's about all you'd see. So just something to think about, you know, if you are going to bring the kids with you something to think about another redesign is their love seat sleeper sofa but first before we get in there let me tell you about the slide soft glow backlit fascia 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 is is it fascia 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 one of them is the stuff you get in the elbow the other one is this stuff frosted glass inlay here and look at the soft glow backlight that we have in the storage Controlled by a switch, everything is independent on the switch too. So if you just want the backlight, you have that option. If you just want the overhead light, you have that option as well. Solid wood balance with the faux leatherette design there. Dark shade, large panoramic window, mushroom lights on both sides, plush and comfortable love seat right here. So if I want to watch some TV, which we'll get to the entertainment center here in a minute, with my loved one, I can. If I just want to kick back, let the breeze go through, talk about the day, you have that option too. And then when it's time for bed, you can sleep in the master. If you got somebody else with you, check this out. Got strut supported storage right there that keeps the cushion or pretty much whatever you want. Slide that out of the way, push that down. Jackknife sofa comes out. 
my cushion goes right there. We got ourselves another sleeper. Could probably get two adults there, but I like the style of that. Ingenious little addition of having the slide out here. You also have a table that could go there. So if you want to set this up as a dinette, you can. Well, not dinette, but a two-seater eater. You can because the table is in the pass-through storage, which means you can also use it outside. But even with that out, I got plenty of room to make my way over to the bathroom, to make my way to the kitchen. I still have space in style. Speaking of the kitchen, you get the Infinity Edge upgraded Master Chef kitchen that you see here. Pressed solid surface countertop. Once again, the Infinity Edge is there, molded and rounded, undermounted stain, stainless steel farmhouse style sink with the high rise faucet and my sprayer. I'm always talking about if they don't have it, I get them to add it because I think it's a great feature. Rustic style decor here with the solid wood cabinetry. Now, with this one being smaller, you got to remember, it is only 22 feet long, 4,600 pounds dry with one slide. And the slide just houses that little sleeper sofa right there. So the room, even for being that, is pretty good. And you got a 30,000 BTU furnace. You got a 13.5 BTU AC. Oh, sorry. I was, that's the LPO2 detector. The furnace is actually ducted. Got my AC right here with the quick cool dump if I need it. Flush mounted microwave. Fan and hood right there. Got the little push button LED accent on my controls there. Flush mounted three burner cooktop and graystone oven. Do the baking. Got the decorative backsplash and my entertainment center has my cable connection, 110, a place to run my wires, a TV mount, and my IRV Technologies AM FM command center with also Bluetooth, auxiliary, HDMI, and USB. When you need more space for your pantry, you got it right over here in the rear. The rear entry por portion of this rear bath. And these shelves also come out. So if you need some ward storage, you can. Oversized fridge, eight cubic feet gas electric with the doodle station. So if you do bring the kids along, if you got small kids, this is a fun little activity if it's raining outside or if you just need to leave notes. You know, hey, going to get milk, you know, need some eggs. Somebody took all my PBR. You could put it all right there. Automatic switch there. Gas electric on the fridge freezer combo. Got my Dometic controls, my circuit breaker box. And also you'll notice, Bob, you can probably see it right over here. That is a carpetless slide. So there's no carpet in here. You got the soft glow backlit fascia, fascia, and fascia, fava beans. It's just upgraded features, upgraded amenities. Once again, that barn style, beautiful light on dark accents in the bathroom. The upgrades just continue. Plastic bowl right here. It's my furnace vent there. Got some storage underneath the sink. Got the pretty good countertop space here for the single vanity. Mirrored medicine cabinet, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom. 110 GFCI outlet right there. And I can get my tanks. I want to check my battery, my fresh, my grays, cut on my water heater, my pump. I got the options right there. You got a corner mounted neo angled shower. I like these because they take up less space than a regular shower, but they give you the perception of being more spacious. Not only that, you have a glass enclosure. How nice is that? Got the skylight right here, giving me some additional headroom. Got my fan and my little vent right there. Slip resistant, easy to clean, easy sweep, easy floor, carpet free once again. You got a super strong laminated roof on this one as well. You got Asdell backing, which we'll talk a little bit about on the outside. So you, yeah, it's a vacuum bonded roof, which means it's, it's just super tough. It's more durable and fully walkable than, than most RV roofs. Plus you got four inches of foam core insulation in the roof. That's the most you're gonna find, some of the most you're gonna find inside RVs. Uh, just well-built, beautiful, and has a ton of amenities. Lightweight, and for the price, this is definitely a upper end RV at a mid-level price, in my opinion. So we've seen the inside of this beautiful Harlan Mallard 210 RB. What do you say we RB our butts outside and check out the outside? You know, the great thing about camping, you can do a lot of stuff because we got a lot of toys at Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, not just the RVs. All right, so here we are on the outside of the beautiful 2021 Harlan Mallard 210 RB, a rear bath camper that's great for the active couple. 
fiberglass all around this bad boy. Beautiful molded right here with the automotive coating painting on there, the LED light strips, the diamond plated rock guard, twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack, as well as the LED light. If you want to trickle charge your battery, you got your 10 amp quick connect right there for your solar panels, all seated on a powder coated single welded aluminum frame. Now for 2021, I mentioned on the inside about the King upgrades. They got the King Kong size storage, the King size bed. And here's what I'm talking about with this King Kong size storage. On some of the models, you get over 50 cubic feet of storage. That one even has a little drop down, which we'll show over there on the other side once we get over there. Finished off LED light. Here's the table that I had mentioned you could use inside or outside. Power stabilizer jacks, heated and enclosed underbelly. Beautiful graphics here on this fiberglass. You got the tinted safety windows all the way around. Got the marine grade external speakers. And you talk about safety and security. When going down the road, the rocking back and forth, you're really not going to have that with this wide track suspension, which is something Heartland has on the Mallards. Beautiful aluminum rims right there with the nitro filled tires. Solid steps going in. And I had mentioned the Asdell that I was going to talk about once we get out here. This is actually a laminated graphite composite that goes in between the fiberglass here and the inside. If you remember some of the campers back in the day had the, had the Luan, the Luan paneling, this replaces that because it's moisture resistant and you don't get that off gassing like you would with the, you know, with the Luan. What does that mean? You won't get the bubbling. It doesn't absorb the moisture, so you won't have that separation and the bubbling. Solera awning here with the LED light strip, 4x4 sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back. Plus, I got my backup camera, the arched roof right there with the three inch nozzles to keep the rain, the snow off of me and my family and friends. Terminations right there underneath my other leveling jack, my 30 amp plug, cable connection, black tank flush, city water connection, and external shower with hot and cold. This is the slide that houses the sleeper sofa that's in there. I got my fresh water connection, my low point drain down there. The other side of my pass through storage right here, which also all of the storage inside the Heartland Mallards have the magnetic anti-slam latches on them. Plus they have the cover up here on the hinge. So if you do get rain, this won't get rusty and you get those streaks going down. But the most important part of any RV is going to be the info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, gross vehicle weight on this one, 6,900 pounds. The dry weight on this one though is roughly 4,600 pounds. It's 4,598. So ask your specialists at Camping World and the Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Uh, here's where I want to take it camping. Here's how many people I'm going to take camping with me. And if you're looking for something 22 feet long, roughly 4,600 pounds dry, I can sleep five to, you know, two, four, maybe five if you got some kids. Um, I gotta tell you, man, it's tough to beat the Mallards. The benefits, the bang for your buck, plus all the features packed into these, these RVs, Harlan does a good job with them. But leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you like about this one, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. It's the way that we give the manufacturers updates and upgrades. Um, and if you would, please also like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time I wanna do something silly, like ride a bike, that I don't know whose bike this is, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be mad when they find out that I'm on it. Um, you'll be the first to know. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope to see you soon. But until then, check out a camper. They're fun. I'll see you. I'm going fishing.